what's going on everybody it's dev aka hyperfang gaming back at you with another video and i'm here to talk about of course xbox's latest 12 months upcoming on june all these games that they showed at e3 were to be released and played by us gamers by june that's what they told us turns out that that's not what's going to be happening yes a few games are going to be releasing yes um we did get well long uh silk song should be coming redfall is coming in may so that reaches the deadline um let's see like you know flight simulator updates and whatnot forza still does not have a date I wanted to talk about that Forza today we finally finally found out a date for Starfield which doesn't hit the mark and it pissed a couple people off myself included I think it's bullshit uh, the whole idea of the E3 I, I don't understand it if they would have just left that out everything would have been fine like September, I'm fine with September. I'm fine playing Starfield in September. It makes sense. Give it a little bit more time, a little bit more polish. Uh, you know, we have to deal with Riot Games and, you know, we have Diablo coming out. We have Overwatch 2. We got the Persona games in Game Pass. Fucking amazing. Uh, more games coming out. Lies of P and fucking... Uh, Benedict Fox and Forza still going like Horizon 5 Forza Horizon 5 still no date for Forza Motorsport 8 though so I'm curious on when that's gonna release uh, there's been talks about Hellblade 2 coming out this year does Starfield moving to September make that slightly different I think so I think uh, we might not see Hellblade until next year Avowed, uh, I'm pretty certain, is not this year. So, I'm just curious on what's, what else is going to happen during the holiday season. Does Hellblade 2 still release? Is that when they're going to drop Forza? Because Starfield's releasing in September. Does that mean Forza comes out around E3 time? Maybe June? Maybe August? In the summertime? Like, it would be a perfect time to have Forza... And a perfect time to introduce like the new mechanics, the new weather system and whatnot. Everybody's having fun, everybody's driving. I'd like to see that. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around this 12 month thing and they delayed Starfield until September. And I'm calling them out on their bullshit. You didn't reach the deadline, that's bullshit. Why even say that? The whole fucking E3 was was that a lie like what's going on here like redfall is still hitting the deadline though and i'm really looking forward to redfall looks like it's one of my most anticipated games uh my most anticipated game is still perfect dark i fucking i, I love perfect dark i love rare i i can't wait for everwild as well but i wanted to talk about this uh this deadline these 12 month deadline that they had for e3 i really hope that they don't do that again I know the media is going to have a field day with this bullshit, but like right now, I'm just going to go straight to focusing on the Activision Blizzard deal. King, I, I just want this deal to go through. It's looking really good. It's been looking nice. I want to see if Sony shows the fucking papers. I'm going to be talking that shit. Um, it's been a long time, man. I, I feel like I say that every video. I barely make videos anymore, but uh, I'm going to start back at it. I just wanted to touch on this subject because it pissed me off. They're not meeting the deadline. I'm still happy about it though. There's never a bad delay. The game is going to look polished. It looks absolutely fucking amazing. There's going to be over a thousand planets. This shit's going to be crazy, y'all. And I'm going to be right there to talk that shit. So you already know, man. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share it out to a homie. Share it out to a friend. I'm going to be coming back with you real soon. Have a good day, y'all.